Hi everybody, it's Andy from James Neve. Um, I've had two client meetings this week, or potentially new client meetings this week, uh, from homeowners in the Walton area who are looking to move abroad and they're looking at renting out their homes. Which for those of you that know me know that I'm really passionate about encouraging new landlords into the marketplace. We really need that, we need more rental stock. Uh, so um, these are great meetings for me and I really love meeting new people and, and people going on these exciting adventures. Um, the question that came up on both meetings was, can I let my house out without needing to get a buy to let mortgage? Um, so obviously both homes were lived in, uh, they had residential mortgages on them. So can I let my house out without having to change to a buy to let mortgage? Um, the really important, well, there's two really important parts to this. Firstly, you're not allowed to let your house out with your residential mortgage without doing anything about it. That is classed as mortgage fraud. It's really serious. Don't do it. Simple answer. However, getting a buy to let mortgage can be tricky, fiddly, you've got to go for a mortgage application, you need to make sure your equity level in the house is right, so you've got to have at least 25% equity for a buy to let mortgage. Um, plus then if you then wanted to come home after a certain period of time, in essence you'd be committing mortgage fraud again if you had a buy to let mortgage and you moved back in. So it's a really complicated process. So there is a solution. If you're going to be going off for just a period of time and want to let your home out, um, go and talk to your mortgage lender or through your financial advisor, whichever way you, you, you do it, um, and ask about consent to let. Um, if you talk to your mortgage lender and you explain that, that we're going off for a period of time, uh, normally they'll give a consent for 12, 24 months. Well, they'll say, yep, you can keep your residential mortgage, but we give you permission to let it out for, for that period of time. Um, there will be a charge for the privilege, uh, either an increased interest rate or, or a one-off cost. Uh, you know, you need to go and have that chat with them and see what their process is and see what the, uh, what the, the situation is. Um, but consent to let is the most straightforward way to do it under those circumstances. So can I rent my house out with a residential mortgage? No, but there is another solution which hopefully means that you don't have to go through all the hassle of changing your mortgage over to a buy to let mortgage. So go and talk to your bank or your mortgage advisor ask about consent to let, see what your options are and go from there. I hope that helps. Catch you soon. Bye.